I'd like to thank all partners, all startups to actually make Program 8 and Expo 8 happen and make it a success. Personalized well being. Huts and pores. And e mobility. App development. Sensor fusion software. Permeable to air and light. Artificial intelligence. Machine learning. EV charging digital platform. Leading smart surfaces. Thermal sensing. Energy management system. Data intelligence. Effective computing. Stretchable electronics. Autonomous. Neuroadaptivity. 3D moldable. Automation. Seed management platform. Transformative road safety technology. Augmented reality. Microservices. Intelligent journey prediction software. Modernization. Label process optimization. Object detection. Driverless fleets. Hand tracking. Static gestures. And dynamic gesture recognition. Hello and welcome to Expo 9, the Insider Edition. My name is Alina and I am Hannah. And what can you expect today? So we will start with a one hour stream where you actually meet the people behind our platform, followed by 21 breakout sessions hosted from our partners and startups in interactive formats, workshops and so on. And then later at six, we will see each other again in the networking part. We can talk more about the technologies of today and of course, have a little bit fun. What are actually the technologies of today, Alina? Good that you mention it. There's plenty of tech in this day. You got a little glimpse in our introductory video, but of course there's more such as gesture recognition, neuroscience, POI data intelligence, LiDAR, thermal sensing, fleet management, sustainable materials. Okay, I think there's so much more, right? <laughs> so, um, plenty. <laughs> okay, I would say let's just start and yeah, get you into our technologies and what's coming up. And for starting, I would like to hand over to our managing director from Plug and Play Germany to Sasha to start our yeah, stream, our session. See you all later. Thank you, Hannah and Alina for the intro. And welcome everybody to our Expo 9 Insider Edition, this time we focus on our close community without the big show, looking at the core achievements of our partners and startups. Our last expo was end of September, so considering the winter holidays, there were just three to four months of effective collaboration. And yet there's so much to see today. Thank you to those who were actively or passively involved and pushing these projects forward. From the partner sites, our champions, the business units, the tech experts, also marketing and venture colleagues. All startups from Program 9 and alumni startups. And our external guests. We only have a few chosen ones today, so please do feel special. We will have over 20 engaging breakout sessions where we deep dive into tech topics. We are having a corporate VC roundtable and also reverse pitch open innovation talk with Daimler, Bosch and Scheffler. To name just a few deep tech breakout sessions, Future of Intelligent Services with AGC, Plastic Omnion, Sikisui and Three Senses. Artificial IoT based fleet and damage management by Bosch and Repairfix. Or autonomous emergency braking with live thermal based sensor 
by Daimler Truck and Adaski. Um, another one, Porsche's innovation strategy and a guided augmented reality tour in a Porsche Taycan with 7D. A big shout out to the organizers and colleagues who you will see throughout the day. Looking forward to see you in the breakout and networking sessions later on and wishing you a lot of fun. Enjoy the full packed day. Thank you and back over to Hannah. Amazing, thank you, Sasha. So starting 2017, we opened this platform as an open innovation platform. And until then, we are now 27 corporate partners pushing together the boundaries of innovation. And actually this expo, Expo Insider Edition is for all our partners. So actually for all of you. And if you're curious who are actually our partners at the website, there's a partner section and you can just read over them as well meet the champions behind it. We have one really favorite part at our expo and this is always the partner announcement. So we are a growing platform and for this, I would like to hand over to Tamara and Adrian who will announce you the three new partners. Good afternoon, everyone. And thank you, Alina and Hannah, for this great moderation so far. And of course, thank you, Sasha, for those really nice welcoming words. My name is Adrian. I'm a corporate partnerships manager here at Startup Autobahn. And together with my dear colleague, Tamara, I do have the absolute privilege to announce our three new corporate partners to the platform today. And I would say, Without further ado, I would like to give it up to Tamara. Thanks, Adrian. Firstly, we are so honored to have Scheffler joining us as an anchor partner. I'm very pleased to hand over to our new champion, Elena and Mr. Hosenfeld. Thanks a lot, Tamara, giving us the chance today to introduce Scheffler and ourselves. My name is Tim Hosenfeld and I'm globally responsible for advanced research and innovation at Scheffler. And I'm Elena Müller, the Startup Autobahn champion at Scheffler. As a leading global supplier to the automotive and industrial sectors, the Scheffler Group has been driving forward groundbreaking developments in the fields of motion and mobilities for more than 70 years. With innovative technologies, products and services for CO2 efficient drives, electric and autonomous mobility, robotics and industry 4.0, digitalization and renewable energies and hydrogen technologies, the company is a reliable partner for making motion and mobility more efficient, intelligent and sustainable. There are three main reasons why we joined Startup Autobahn as an anchor partner in the beginning of this year. First of all, we want to be the preferred technology partner of startups and companies that drive innovation. And therefore, we have selected Startup Autobahn as our strategic partner to provide the framework and the ecosystem for our Scheffler Technology Accelerator, where we are building a qualified global Scheffler network of tech partners across eight Scheffler innovation clusters. Last but not least, Startup Autobahn provides a platform to innovate with our existing customers and new mobility players. That having said, we are really looking forward bringing innovation to the next level at Scheffler, which involves everyone at Scheffler, from the expert to our CEO. Thank you for having us and I hand over to Adrian. Thank you so much, Elena and Mr. Hosenfeld for this really nice introductionary words. As a next partner, I would like to announce Maxion. I'm really convinced that they're gonna be a great addition to our ecosystem and our new champion, Saul Reichman, has prepared some words for us. So I give it up to you. Thanks, Adrian, for your kind intro. I'm Saul Reichman, and I'm the Global Director of Innovation and Corporate Venturing at Maxton Wheels and Head of Maxton Advanced Technologies, our corporate innovation hub in Berlin. 
Maxian wheels and Maxian structural components are two divisions comprising Yoshpe Maxian, a world leader in the production of automotive wheels and the leading producer of automotive structural components in the Americas. At Maxian, we're driven by innovation, and joining Startup Autobahn is one of many ways we connect our work with the global innovation ecosystem. This partnership will allow us to identify new business opportunities and also accelerate our digital and technological development. We're looking forward to participate in new mobility platforms and collaborate with startups and other industry partners on important industry challenges. This is why we're super excited to explore the partnership with Startup Autobahn. And with that, I hand it over to you, Tamara. Thank you, Sol. And finally, we are very honored to announce Novelis as a new ecosystem partner on our open innovation platform. We are convinced Novelis will perfectly supplement our ecosystem. And therefore, we would like to give a warm welcome to Andreas and hand over to him so he can give some more insights. Thank you, Tamara. And hello to everyone. My name is Andreas Delis and I'm the Director of Strategy and Product Management for Novelis Europe Automotive. Novelis is the world's biggest producer of flat rolled aluminium products and we're serving different markets like the beverage can industry, aerospace, architecture and of course automotive. But we're not only that, we're also the biggest recycler of aluminium globally. We had a fantastic onboarding process with Tamara, where she introduced us to the different formats that Startup Autobahn will deliver to us. And we are super excited to find new partnerships, both with corporates and startups that will introduce Novelis to new ideas and ways to conduct business. With that, I hand it back to Tamara. Thank you, Andreas. It's amazing working together with you and the whole Novelis team. Actually, we cannot wait to kick off the next program together with all of our new partners. Handing back to Adrian. Awesome, Tamara. I could not have phrased it any better. And I would say with that, we enclose the new partner announcement part of the opening ceremony. And with that, I would like to give it back to our amazing moderation team. Take care. And did you actually know that we have now 390 POCs and pilots until today? And our secret sauce behind it are actually our champions. So at each of our partner companies, we have at least one person who are connecting both dots. And this is actually something we are really excited as well if we're coming back to in-person events to meet each other again and think about what could be our next collaboration and projects going on and what actually the champion is doing and what are all their duties on a daily base, I would say I will hand over to our champions directly. A recent Google search for the word innovation generated over 1.7 billion results in less than a second. The word is frequently mentioned in the news, all over social media feeds, and sneaking into advertising campaigns around the world. But how does one translate talk of a concept to tangible results, especially within large organizations? At Startup Autobahn, the objective is results, and the means, startup corporate collaborations. The platform has successfully facilitated 390 projects between corporate partners and the over 240 startups with over 90 solutions already implemented. As an open innovation platform, it provides an interface between tech companies and industry-leading corporations. On the one side are the business units of the partners, experts with experience and insights into the industry, looking for creative solutions and disruptive technologies. On the other side are the agile startups with the ability to focus on highly specific solutions, creators of said disruptive technologies, looking for partners, customers, or an entry point into the industry. The question that remains, how are the right people brought together to develop such solutions? Hi, 
I'm Digital Innovation Manager at ADC. I'm a Mobility Business Developer at AGC Automotive. I'm the Global Innovation Manager at BP. I'm the Global Director of Innovation and Corporate Venturing at Maxion. I'm Venture Partner at Startup Autobahn at Mercedes-Benz. I'm the Business Development Manager from Sekisui Aslak PV. I am the Automotive Innovation Lead at DXC Technology. I'm the Innovation Manager in the field of Mechatronics at Plastic Omnium. I'm Innovation Manager at TÜV Rhineland. I'm Head of the Global Scouting at ZF Friedrichshafen. I am a champion at Startup Autobahn, powered by Plug and Play. I'm a champion at Startup Autobahn, powered by Plug and Play. I am a champion at Startup Autobahn, powered by Plug and Play. I'm a champion at the Startup Autobahn. I am a champion at Startup Autobahn, powered by Plug and Play. I am champion at Startup Autobahn, powered by Plug and Play. I am a champion of Startup Autobahn, powered by Plug and Play. I am a champion at Startup Autobahn, powered by Plug and Play. I am champion at Startup Autobahn, powered by Plug and Play. I am a champion at Startup Autobahn, powered by Plug and Play. I am the champion of Startup Autobahn, powered by Plug and Play. I am a champion at Startup Autobahn, powered by Plug and Play. Champions are the key contacts of Startup Autobahn's corporate partners, representing the interests of their company on the platform. They bring the passion and energy for realizing projects, are responsible for coordinating with the correct business units of their respective companies, and they make the process both approachable and exciting. The role is multifaceted and looks a bit different for each partner. As Micah Hammer, champion from the Open Innovation team at Mercedes-Benz explains, her job requires a lot of collaboration and even more of something else. I think the most important part of my job is communication. That's why I kick off each and every project personally with the business unit and startup. And this would be also a recommendation from my side. Kick off and start personally. Afterwards, the communication gets even smoother. Communication is a recurring theme that surfaces when speaking with many of the champions. Open and regular communication helps all parties to keep the big picture in mind and enables improved collaboration and subsequently increased results through the POC journey. One of the many examples of the successful collaboration was between Mercedes-Benz and Bulgarian startup Biomic. One of my favorite projects is definitely the startup Biomic. They piqued our interest in a deep dive around sustainable materials and they presented us a material made out of mushrooms. Our business unit was highly interested and started to exchange and collaborate. And um, at the end, we had a 3D printing for our factory 56 with the sustainable material. And now we are in the follow-up phase, further developing and collaborating on this topic. Champions are a valuable resource for business units to navigate successful projects. Sebastian Tietz, champion and open innovation director of Bosch Mobility, walks through the process of what it looks like to work with him. Because uh, when you have a specific need for technology, for example, um, we can look together uh, using Startup Autobahn to find the right startup technology for you. Yeah? So uh, from a long list, we filter down to a short list, get to know the most relevant startups and find the right one for you and set up a POC, proof of concept together with you to really get to know the startup, the technology and the collaboration with Bosch. Yeah? If it works out, yeah, you have a new partner right there. Sebastian's approach includes keeping his colleagues throughout the Bosch organization informed through internal invitations to events and content creation. We have almost a small communication department which uh, writes stories about POCs and scoutings that we are doing, spreading the word uh, to the inside world of Bosch. One of the many appeals of piloting through Startup Autobahn is the speed. There is a heightened awareness and eagerness to get things moving, and Ursula, Innovation Manager at Motherson Innovations shares why this speed and efficiency is vital. So we are trying to um, keep it relatively short as a process so that we have an opportunity as soon as possible to experience the technology provided by the startup and uh, to have hands-on experience and, uh, and our own uh, results from, from the investigation to hopefully understand it better and bring it even further than that. While developing successful POCs takes plenty of investigating, scouting, planning and research, Ursula shares a central element to her daily work. 
be spontaneous, be flexible. There will be a lot of new things uh, coming across you. There is no fixed pathway. There are many ways uh, you can do your job, uh, many ways in which you can be successful. You stay open and try to investigate uh, the opportunities that lie in front of you. And uh, there is no one solution. So you have to be very open-minded. Open-minded is a good keyword. Finding people who are eager, open, and capable can shape the future of innovation at any company. This segues into one of the great parts of being a champion, according to Christoph Acker, part of the strategy and innovation team at Porsche, the people. When it comes to Startup Audemars, something that is for me always the most fun part is the actual one-on-one -on -one meetings with the startups because it's just always cool to get new ideas and um, to get to know different people from all over the world in a very structured and easy way. And um, it is very cool if you find the people that share the same thoughts and share the same ideas and you can really excel with them. This is not an ordinary platform and Andy Grau of the strategy and innovation team at Porsche reminds us of the equal roles all parties play creating an environment where collaboration thrives. I think this is also important to get to know that this is not a um, supplier OEM contractual base, but it's more an I&I base yeah, where you communicate uh, really on the same level yeah, between uh, the startup and the big uh, corporate. Yeah. Throughout the process, the champions facilitate peers working together towards a common goal, most definitely a key success factor for projects on the platform. To take an idea and develop it into a production-ready implementation takes commitment, expertise, and getting the right people together at the right time. At Startup Autobahn, the champions are a key component in connecting the dots in this picture, shaping the future of mobility, production, and enterprise, and beyond, through innovation. Have you seen this? You probably have, because you're here with us today. But in case you have not, this is our Expo website. It contains all the information you need throughout the day and more. But to best help you navigate it, I'll hand it over to the mastermind behind it, our head of code, Basti. Hello, everybody. My name is Bastian, and I do have the pleasure today to introduce you to the Expo 9 website. Now, I do suspect that each and every one of you is quite good at scrolling through a website, which is why I'd like to emphasis more on how the content is structured and linked behind the scenes. So you guys out there at the screens are hopefully equipped with all the tools and the knowledge to get the most out of this day. Now, one thing before we start though, what you're currently seeing on my screen is still somewhat of work in progress and subject to changes. So just in case, you might find some minor differences on your end. Now, let's jump right in. Now, the front page is pretty much self-explanatory in the sense that I do not need to waste much time on it. The only thing I'd like to make you aware of, of course, just if you haven't seen it yet, is the frequently asked questions section right at the bottom. That said, in case you ever run into any issues regarding Expo, we might already get you covered there. Or if not, our contact information is actually just one step away. Now, at Startup Autobahn, we even do have the startup in our name. So it is surely not surprising that the startups are also the first element of the website that we take a closer look at. For the sake of choosing an example, I'm just going with the first startup on our list today. You'll immediately recognize that this part of the website is included in our so-called members area. Now, each and every one of you who has been invited by us in the past weeks should have received at least one email including this code. If you still have no idea where to find it, I just encourage you to reach out to Hannah. Now, I luckily do remember the passphrase and that is also why we can now go on with our little walkthrough through the website. Just give me a second and I will enter my credentials and yes, please don't forget to acknowledge our terms. Here we go. What you can see right here is the profile structure with some basic information to the left and a more detailed description to the right. Now, even more interesting, at least from a Startup Autobahn point of view, are the project teasers that have been attached here and are ready to be downloaded. Now, the team has done a wonderful job and created those comprehensive documents that allow you to easily understand what the Startup Autobahn startups and partners have been collaborating on. Furthermore, 
Since some of our projects get even highlighted in dedicated breakout sessions later this day, you will also find that information here. The second element that I'd like to highlight is the agenda that you can find right at the bottom of each profile. If we say you do find this startup particularly interesting and you certainly would like to hear more about their approaches or how they're handling things, well, then this section is to your service. What you can find right here is an excerpt of today's agenda solely containing the elements that the startup we are looking at right now is participating in. That is your chance to find out more about them. Needless to say, of course, that those elements have been created for each and every one of our startups and actually our partners as well. Everything from the description to the project teasers, employees and agenda is pretty much on par with what we have just seen. And that is also why we are skipping the partners overview and jumping right into the section that I suspect you will use the most today, the agenda. Now, right at the top of my screen, you can see the filtering panel that allows you to limit the scope of events and to focus on the categories you are most interested in. For the sake of completeness though, we're staying in the all sessions overview for that moment. Right after this welcome stream, you'd probably like to jump over to one of our breakout sessions and how to do that is what I'm going to tell you next. Once again, I'm taking the first element of our list of dozens of sessions and you actually can already see that the button at each card shows us the path to join the sessions. So let us take a closer look at that. Quick side note, you'll also need the unlock code to enter this part of the website. Since I have entered it just a minute ago, I'm covered, but if you haven't, just don't be surprised. So the freshly opened page immediately grants us access to the actual breakout session stream via the green box right on top of the page. You basically have the possibility to join with just a click on the button right here or to copy paste the actual link to your browser's search bar. Whatever you prefer, the options are on the table. You shouldn't stop here though to inspect the page that is on your screen right now because there's quite a lot of interesting information you would otherwise miss out. I'm pretty confident though that you can handle that by yourself. I did promise the team to keep it short and simple. And since I probably already managed to do none of that, I will not dive into the people's profiles now. Although I highly encourage you to check that out, especially if you're interested in the people you have seen on screen today. And of course, the people behind the scenes who make this event and the entire platform such a tremendous success. As the last action item, however, I really would like to point you to the card element that is floating right above the footer on each and every page of this website. Yeah, even the imprint. If this one or one of our previous expos made you curious about what's next, then this is your chance to let us know and we will get back to you once we have more to share. And now it's my turn to finally come to an end, to wish you an extraordinary Expo Day full of exciting technologies and fruitful discussions. And of course, most importantly, quite a bit of fun. My name is Bastian, enjoy the day and stay safe. Wow, that was a lot of inspiring content. But Hannah, what are you most looking forward to throughout the day? I think on one side, it's really amazing that we have like one hub for like everything. But especially I'm looking forward to all the 21 breakout sessions happening after the stream. So I think they're really excited. And what are these breakout sessions exactly? So maybe if you go to conferences or usually where you know the name masterclasses, workshops, deep dives. So our partners and our startups organized panels, interactive workshops, like 30 to 60 minutes, where all our guests are more than welcome to interact with the speakers. I actually spotted a couple on the website that I'm really excited about, but I did not get my spot yet. Is it still possible for me to join on the day? Totally. And one thing I totally understand that you spotted some. I think that's so excited, exciting, but um, it's really easy. So the pre-registration actually is closed. So you just go on the website on agenda, you open it. There is a password for all our partners and startups who are joining today. And then there's a link to join the session directly. Cool. That does sound easy. I will definitely check it out. And uh, is it going to be like interactive sessions? Is it going to be just a stream? I, can I ask questions? Like what's the format here? 
So all the sessions are at Microsoft Teams and there are meetings. So it's not like people only talking to you from a stream way. You really can interact. You can ask your questions. And I think really important, every one of you should turn on their camera if they're joining the session. And what can I expect from these sessions? What's the content? Um, I could talk about it long, but I would say I will hand over to Johannes, who will start speaking about our breakout session coming up. Thank you, Hannah and Alina. Hi, my name is Johannes and I'm part of the Ventures team, the scouting engine of Startup Autobahn. The theme of the first stream of breakout sessions is Connect. Connectivity in the automotive industry is a long-standing trend that is being further accelerated by emerging technologies and innovative startups. But creating these connections between corporates and startups requires an open mindset and personalities that lead the way. So, but now let's jump right into the introduction of the breakout sessions to learn how these connections can have a positive impact on our lives. In the first session, Joel, Roland and Russ will talk about how Daimler Truck and Adasky enhance their ADAS with the integration of thermal sensing. They will showcase how they are able to use thermal sensors to increase road safety and save lives. The next presented collaboration between Mercedes-Benz and Terranet delivered a so-called life map. Enabled through Terranet's 3D technology called VoxelFlow, they are now able to detect moving objects in traffic dynamically and recognize hazard events. This leads to an improved navigation experience and safer roads. In the third session, the urban mobility team at Mercedes-Benz and Travelog will present how they deliver point of interest recommendations into the head-up unit via push notifications. The team consisting of Hermann and Blandi from Mercedes-Benz and Tim and Sebastian from Travelog created in this first project an enhanced mobility experience by enriching the city map of Stuttgart with 100 points of interest. So whenever you enter a specific urban area, this will give you recommendations based on your personal interests. The last breakout session of the stream is all about open innovation and creating a mindset to enable these fruitful connections between corporates and startups. Mike and Philip from Mercedes-Benz, alongside Sebastian from Bosch and Elena from Scheffler, will share their experience on how they were able to carry this entrepreneurial and innovative mindset into their corporations. With that, I want to hand it over to Theodora to present the next set of breakout sessions, as there's a lot more to discover today. Stay tuned. Just like magic. Thank you, Johannes. I'm Theodora, I'm part of the Ventures team, and I'm here to offer you a sneak peek into four amazing breakout sessions that explore the potential of what is called experience innovation. So what exactly is that? Well, this is what innovative brands do to win over the customer's hearts. They go beyond the simple designs and features of a product and instead dive deeper into the broader experience of what it means to interact and use the product. So while on one hand, product innovation relies on one-off improvements and technological advancements, experience innovation is what ties together different memorable events that overall create a unique and cohesive brand name. And today's in-car tech advancements make it possible for automotive players to offer truly remarkable experiences that go beyond the simple pleasure of just driving a car. Take for instance the breakout session that is dedicated to the collaboration project between Porsche and the startup 7D. As you will hear later on from Andy and Christoph at Porsche, the project allows one to get acquainted with his or her first electric vehicle via an augmented reality guided tour of the car rather than just by flicking through an old-fashioned user car manual. I think we all agree this is a more proper way of getting used to your first Porsche Taycan. Next, we learned from Porsche and London-based startup Mind that the driver's mood can be uplifted through personalized well-being coaching sessions and gamified music experiences. After all, who can resist singing along to their favorite tunes in the car, especially when they're alone? I don't want to spoil it, but perhaps Lars at Porsche or Martin and Jera at Mind will let us know about some mood-boosting exercises and routines. And now it's time to switch our attention to a special breakout session dedicated to innovation culture. 
Here you can expect to learn more about the core elements of a successful innovation culture in an inspiring and exciting session featuring Hannah from Porsche, Johannes from Bosch, Henning from Linde and Monica from the House of Beautiful Business. And in the end, we wrap up this whole stream with an amazing group of innovators. Hyundai, Mercedes-Benz, Porsche and in-car virtual reality startup Polaroid will talk about the need to create a new dimension for in-car entertainment. Overall, the reality is that signature experiences will help automakers remain relevant in the market. But we have so many other interesting breakout sessions prepared for you today that it's time for me now to hand it over to Julius. Let's see if my magic tricks work. Thank you, Theodora. And also a warm welcome from my side. My name is Julius, and as part of the Ventures team, I'm responsible for all kinds of startup relations. Moving forward, I would like to introduce to you the next four exciting breakout sessions included in this stream. Transformation is a key driver for corporate innovation. And just as these plants next to me need to adapt and change in order to get the most sunlight and the most water, corporates need to allow change and adoption and transformation in order to remain competitive. Especially fast-paced technologies like artificial intelligence, augmented reality, Internet of Things, force organizations to react in speeds they have never seen before. Speaking about artificial intelligence and augmented reality leads me to the topic of our first breakout session, which will revolve around a combination out of both technologies. Rightly, you may ask yourself, how does the combination out of these technologies look like? Well, our breakout session will give you the answer. Firstly, Dr. Ina Heine from the RWTH Aachen University will introduce to you the topic of augmented intelligence, while also speaking about possible application areas. Afterwards, Matthias from Bosch and Martin from Aachen-based startup Oculavis will share use cases and their experience from their joint project where they were combining AI spare parts identification with augmented reality, all in maintenance and service operations. The next breakout session is especially relevant for mobility service providers. Bosch teamed up with Munich-based startup Repairfix to develop a fully digital and automated damage estimation process for car sharing fleets. Nathalie Kolb and Moritz Weltgen from Repairfix, together with Andrea Greve, will answer the question on how their solution helps to reduce costs while at the same time paving the road to become more profitable. Here, the combination out of both earlier mentioned technologies will play an important role, so stay tuned. The third session will be all about smart surfaces. The car interior experts Esther, Ursula, Vincent and Summer from Motherson will be explain how user experience can be enhanced significantly by integrating functionality in sustainable surfaces. On the road of doing so, they have support by two startups developing technologies that can be integrated in the surface of future vehicles. Arte from Forsyot and Julian from out for space will kick it off with presenting their technologies. Afterwards, Motherson will present a concrete use case. Here, the previously mentioned transformation plays a key role as well, namely transforming any surface into a sustainable solution. We will wrap it up with the fourth session that will circle around the question on how to modernize Java monoliths in an efficient and fast way. Migrating from monoliths to microservices is currently a really painful process, as Wolfram from T-Systems will explain in this session. He will also explain that this could soon be a thing of the past. And this is where US-based startup vFunction comes into play. Moti Rafalin, CEO of vFunction, will be the one presenting the advantages of his startup. And we will also hear why with T-Systems and vFunction will be easier than never before transforming your Java project. And with that said, I will hand it over to Aaron. Thanks, Julius. Um, hi, I'm Aaron from the design operations team at Startup Autobahn. And usually you would find me behind the camera, but as Julius has summoned me, I might as well just introduce the next session to you, which is fittingly to my job called Create. A quick look into the dictionary tells us that to create basically means to make something new or to invent something which pretty much sums up what we do here at Startup Autobahn. We make newly, we invent, or yeah, we also create. But in this breakout session slot, creating also means challenging the status quo, envisioning the seemingly impossible, and talking about how the future of mobility, production, and HMI could really look like. So let's jump right into it. 
First up, Lucas from DXC Technology and Ivan from program startup HVOLT are talking about what role electric vehicles should play in the energy ecosystem of the future. And to everybody who already owns an electric vehicle or to my fellow Swabians in general, they're also going to talk about ways to offer charging at no cost. So check it out. If you think about things on wheels when you hear the term autonomous vehicle, this next breakout session will definitely surprise you. Alexander from Murata and Inze from the Amsterdam Institute for Advanced Metropolitan Solutions are going to talk about how autonomous electric boats can help us make urban streets less crowded. So tune in to learn more about the project Rowboat and how you can participate. Next up, we have Hans and Bertram from our partner Schaeffler, who will introduce you to the communication architecture within the Schaeffler Smart Factory. Check out their breakout session to learn more about how data is exchanged via the underlying core communication system, the industrial service bus. Finally, our colleagues from DXC Technology, Anna, Alena and Jürgen will complete the create slot with their breakout session on their collaboration with program startup Motion Gestures. If you haven't been a germaphobe before 2020, you are certainly now to some degree. And for me personally, just imagining Touching a self-service display at one of my favorite burger places just gives me anxiety. So I'm really looking forward to their talk on how you will be able to order food with just gestures in the future. And that's it from my side. Looking forward to seeing some of you at the Create Breakout Session slots later today. And I'm handing over to Anton. Thank you, Aaron. And hello, dear partners and friends of Startup Autobahn. My name is Anton and I'm welcoming you today from my little home from where during the last few months, as you can probably also see from my missing haircut, I've been supporting our corporate partners with their activities on our platform as a corporate innovation manager. But today, I'm really happy to give you a sneak peek into what is going to happen during the Explore stream. And as you can also see, I got my Explorer jacket on, so I hope you are also prepared for what's about to come. And if we at Startup Autobahn say explore, we really do mean explore. So we're going to meet exciting startups. We're going to learn more about digital innovation. We will discuss the potential of intelligent services. We will explore the topic of urban air mobility. And last but not least, we're going to jump into the topic of adaptive sound, which is sound that adapts to your movements and your environment. And now let's go quickly through all the slots step by step. First, we have our partner Zenzik, who invited five of the UK's most promising startups in the field of connected and autonomous driving for today's session. And they will tell us more how they are testing their products using the UK's mobility test bed. And I can tell you for sure, they don't have to read this how to start up book anymore. Next up in session number two, we have a session which is for all the innovation enthusiasts out there, because we are being joined by our friends from the University of Stuttgart, who brought very interesting insights into topics like digital transformation, digital innovation, and organizing innovation overall. As you can probably see for the third session, I've grabbed myself a pair of futuristic looking glasses, because in this session, Together with our partner Hyundai, we're going to experience how they are building the ecosystem for urban air mobility. Really looking forward for this session. Can you hear this? Sounds like our next session number four by Porsche Digital about adaptive sound. The question at hand, how can you compose music while driving? And as a big music fan myself, I'm really looking forward to learn how Porsche Digital is trying to turn this technology into an integral part of our future in-car entertainment experience and certainly in our everyday life. And last but not least, in session number five, we will explore the future of smart surfaces and tackle this from three different angles. Look here and feel. Join us for a promising session with our three ecosystem partners, AGC, Plastic Omnium, and Sekisui. And hope you are excited as I am for today's innovation journey and glad you're joining us today for our expo number nine, the Insider Edition. Thank you very much. Enjoy the day. Up to the next one. Wow. 
Thanks to the team for letting us explore those insightful breakout sessions. A warm welcome also from my side. I'm Tamara and part of the Corporate Partnerships team at Startup Autobahn powered by Plug and Play. I'm very excited to announce our last sessions of today's Expo 9. And finally, we do not only want you to connect, experience, transform, create and explore, we want you to grow. Our Plug and Play team will host an insightful corporate venture capital session. In order to keep pace with the accelerating rate of innovation, startup investments and acquisition of disruptive technologies have always been important growth opportunities for established companies. And this is why we have initiated a new event format for the corporate venture capital teams of our corporate partners. In our first CVC roundtable series, we have two special guests who will talk about the foundations of building a strategic corporate venture capital and will go through the tactics of effectively selling CVC internally and beyond. And now let's get from growing investments in technologies to growing relationships. Our Expo 9 offers great opportunities to exchange with our startups, our corporate partners, innovation experts and our whole community. We'd like to connect you to each other and give you the opportunity to meet our startups at their virtual Rebo tables to deep dive into their technologies. Therefore, we would love to invite you to join our Remo networking sessions. We're looking forward to seeing you all there. Let's get ready for Expo. You've signed up for a breakout session, you know where to go. You want to sign up for a breakout session, check the website. If you're lost, also check the website. It was really amazing months in Program 9 and so much good work from our partners and startups. So I would say, let's start discovering that in the breakout session. Everyone, happy Expo. Happy Expo.